Hey divers, congratulations on starting your training with Utila Dive Center. I'm really excited for you. I was in your shoes just a few years ago, and if there's any advice that I can give you, it's don't forget to have fun. It's a lot of work, but have fun with it. My name is Autumn Blum. I'm the founder of Stream to Sea. I'm a cosmetic chemist. I'm also a dive instructor as well. And a few years back, I was diving in Palau, and I saw this sunscreen slit coming off a group of snorkelers. As a cosmetic chemist, that was the first time that I really put together that what we put on our bodies not only affects us, but can affect our environment as well. Shortly after I had that epiphany, the studies started coming out showing that really tiny concentrations of the most common sunscreen ingredients kill coral larvae. They are affecting our reefs. They reduce the temperature that uh, sunscreen can bleach. Uh, I'm sorry, that coral can bleach. So if there's a very tiny amount of sunscreen in the waters, um, 62 parts per trillion is how much has been shown to kill coral larvae. And uh, if there's very tiny concentrations, not only does it kill the coral larva, preventing the reefs from replicating and growing themselves, but it can also reduce the temperatures that the coral bleach. So there's a lot of other things that we can talk about and I can teach you on that and hopefully I'll have the opportunity to do more in the future. But uh, real quick, I just wanted to go over this kit that you have been given. Our friends at Utila Dive Center agree that when you're talking about coral conservation, um, project aware, not only do you want to talk about buoyancy control and things of that nature, it's also really important to talk about what products we are introducing or what toxins we might be introducing to the reefs. So we are providing this kit for you, our friends at Utila Dive Center, and I wanted to go over some of the ingredients that are in there. These great little, cute little kit, right? It's cute. These great little tubes are made from sugarcane resins. I'm not a fan of plastics either, so instead of using uh, petroleum-based plastics, they're all made out of bio-resin tubes, sugarcane waste. The first one here is the conditioning shampoo and body wash. Um, when I went through our initial product testing, I was really shocked to learn that shampoos are some of the most toxic things that we introduce. I love the awareness with sunscreen. Shampoos are important as well. It also works as a good defog in a pinch. It's a little bit thinner than you might be used to, but it's a wonderful product. It'll leave your hair feeling great. It also gets rid of the pea smell in our wetsuits. Not that any of us would do that. Sun and Sting Gel. This one is great to keep, <coughs> excuse me. This one's great to keep in your dive bag. Way better in the vinegar bottle. It's uh, glycosamingo glycans, bromelain papain, enzymes, and some essential oils in a base of green tea and aloe vera. If you get hit with fire coral, jellyfish, or just sunburn, any um, fire ants, mosquito bites, anything like that. Put this on it, it reduces the inflammation, the itch very, very quickly. It smells lovely too. Let's see what else is in here. Leave-in conditioner, that is my favorite product. If you have thicker hair or um, longer hair, use this when you get out. Fresh water rinse is great, but even if you don't have one, put this in, you can run your fingers through your hair, it smells great. and doesn't hurt our fish, it's very important. And then we have the two heroes, we have the two sunscreens the SPF 20 and the SPF 30. I have darker skin. Um, the SPF 20 is more than enough for me. If you're from Canada or Norway and you haven't seen the sun a whole lot, go for the SPF 30. There's a lot of controversy out there. Some people think that they need an SPF 50 or SPF 100. Really important to remember, SPF is a factor of time, not level of protection. The difference between a 20 and a 30 is only about 1% increase in protection. The difference between a 30 and a 50 is again, less than a 1% increase in protection and you can't get there without using either pure zinc oxide and oil that's really greasy or massive amounts of those chemical ingredients that we're trying to avoid. One thing that's really important to show you on our sunscreen, a little bit goes a long way. When you're using these, don't be that guy that squirts out a big old glob and smears it on your face and looks like Casper the Friendly Ghost because everybody's gonna laugh at you and it's not good for my business. So a little bit, I like to take a pea size amount, that much, size amount. I put it in the palm of my hands, I rub it together just a little bit, press it, and then I press it into my skin, press it into my face, and blend from there. Okay? You should have a white sheen. You can kind of see it probably. You should have a white sheen, but you shouldn't be Casper. When you put it on your body, now rash guards, whatever, always great. I'm an advocate, but if you're putting it on your shoulders or whatnot, do the same thing. Press it in, then go press, 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 and then blend. With a mineral sunscreen, it takes a little more effort to apply, but it is so worth it. It's safe for us, it's safe for our waters. It will not burn your eyes, and it's very highly water resistant. Um, the other thing that's really important to talk about that's in our kits is this ingredients to avoid card. Whatever product you're planning on using, whether it's a shampoo, whether it's a sunscreen, 
Make sure you flip it over, read the ingredients. The stuff on the front, marketing fluff. It's very poorly regulated. The stuff on the back is very regulated. So you wanna make sure that you move beyond the marketing stuff, because I can tell you whatever I want and nobody really gets too cranky with me, but on the back, that's important. So start reading those ingredients. Compare it to these, in these ingredients to avoid on here. Now, it's one thing for me to tell you, I, I sell sunscreen, it's one thing for me to tell you what ingredients are good and which are bad, but if you go to our website, there's a list of ingredients to avoid. We link to the third-party sites we link to these uh, scientists that are way smarter than we are and don't have an agenda selling product that explain to you why these are either health hazards or eco hazards. Some of them are both. So you wanna, this is a really important card. Keep this one. On the other side of it, this is our You Make a Difference because you do. Um, dive instructors are the ambassadors and the educators for our C, so you are really important to us. You can register for a professional discount. Go to streamtosee.com forward slash pro. Once you pass your instructor exam, you can enter in your instructor ID there and that will sign you up to get an ongoing discount from us. Um, we'll also, if you're interested, we can send you samples and wherever you wind up going in the world, we need people like you out there teaching that what we put on our bodies matters. Um, we're just starting our third year. We're growing very quickly because of passionate divers and friends like you who are teaching the world that what we put on our bodies makes a difference. So thank you very much for your time. Have fun with it. There's a lot more that I could teach you, and hopefully you'll go to our website, streamtosee.com, that's the number two, and, and learn more. If you have any questions, reach out to me as well. My name's Autumn Blum. My email is autumn at streamtosee.com. It's linked on the website. And uh, feel free to stay in touch. Take care. Thank you again for your time. Good luck.